Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Ooh, I can't talk. <laughs> it's interesting. If you're new here, my name is Ohima. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. I've been sick for the past three days and I thought I was getting better. Well, I decided to sit down and film and now my voice is gone. I can't talk any more than this. What is happening? Anyway, Anastasia Beverly Hills used to be that brand when they launched lip products, they flew off the shelf because a lot of people absolutely loved their lip products. Their lipsticks, their liquid lipsticks, their glosses, like everything was so coveted that it literally flew off the shelves, okay? Lately, I have not been hearing a lot about Anastasia Beverly Hills lip products, but Today, we got a package in from ABH that has a bunch of lip products in there. So I decided to go ahead and see if I can swatch a few of these products for you so we can see what they're about and maybe possibly help anyone that was trying to see what a specific color kind of swatch on dark skin look like. So if you wanna see the lip products that ABH has launched and whether or not we're gonna be able to use it, then keep on watching. So ABH has launched undeniably pigmented, insanely controllable, obsessively precise, worthy of your lips lip liners. And they're called lip liner. So Anastasia Beverly Hills sent over all their lip liners. This is a ton of lip liners. <laughs> This is a ton of lip liners. We cannot use all these lip liners as actual lip liners, okay? So what I'm doing is taking out the deeper shades that I feel we could use, and then I'm gonna swatch those shades on the back of my hand. It comes in the classic Anastasia Beverly Hills black box with the rose gold lettering. It comes with the color written on a box like that, and then the ABH logo on the other side of it. So this is the shade Raisin. The next shade is called Chai. The next shade is called Malt. Now, I really don't know if the top two shades are something I can use, but Malt is looking a bit more promising than the other two shades that I have swatched so far. So the next shade is Cranberry. The next shade is Cherry. I don't know if that's actually considered a lip liner if you're dark skin because generally we try to go in with something a bit deeper to try to mitigate between the stark shade and our skin tone. Okay, and the last lip liner I'm gonna swatch is Blackberry. Blackberry is a deep plum purple shade, so it could definitely go with any look. Almost kind of reminds me almost of MAC Night Moth. The three shades that I feel like we can possibly use is Blackberry, Cranberry, and Malt as our lip liners. Of course, depending on what we're doing. But as it stands, I don't think the rest of these lip liners are lip liners for my skin tone. Might be lip liners for anybody who is, you know, paler than I am, but on my skin tone, it is not. A so ABH also launched matte and satin lipsticks. They launched 12 satin lipsticks and six matte lipsticks. Am I gonna swatch all these shades for you? Probably, maybe, yes, yes. I mean, I'm gonna try. And hopefully my lips don't get stained to the point where you don't actually see the colors on my lips, but I'm gonna try to swatch them for you.
so we just finished swatching the satin lipsticks and before I go into the matte I want to say what was that I really don't know what the satin lip was trying to convey majority of the shades were very pale I don't know if that's like the idea behind it maybe it is let's go ahead and get into the mattes okay this one is rum punch Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look trying out and swatching the ABH lipsticks and showing you guys a few of their lip liners. I don't know what is up with the satin lipsticks, but I do know that I like every single one of the mattes that I swatch. The satin ones, I... Mm, I don't know what's up with that, okay? All I know is if you're asking me, hey, Ohema, which one of these shades do you like the best and which one do you think I should pick up? I would definitely say go for the matte because it actually feels nice on the lips. It, it's more opaque. It just looks good in general. The satin ones, they were a bit harder to like put on. I feel like they were a bit harder for it to show up. Definitely have other cheaper brands that are more luscious and flows better and all complement dark skin better than the satin shades that I swatched okay let me know down below in the comments which ones your favorites are or is or was I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye